explain how to do the formal analysis for the second assignment in the uh, Art History 1 class. The assignment is to write a formal analysis of this work. Uh, you'll find that in Canvas under the assignments. Uh, this is this is a a, 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 a work that, that I want you to that you've never seen. You don't know anything, any background information. It would be best if you didn't even look at any background information. That you got everything that you you could from just looking at the picture and just look at it a lot. Look at all the different parts of it. Um, but what you what your your goal here is is to write a formal analysis, which means to analyze the form. Analyzing something means to look at it take it apart and put it back together and tell how it's put together or what it, what it, how it works, that sort of thing. Um, to understand what, it, what is meant by the formal part of formal analysis means the, the, the forms are, we take a, an example, something like this. Uh, this is a picture called the American Gothic by Grant Wood. It's from the 20th century. Uh, pictures have uh, form and they have content. Content refers to what it's a picture of, what's, what's being depicted, what's being represented. And the reason it's represented is, is because in the real world there are such things as, as in this case, uh, you know, a, a man with a pitchfork and a, a, a woman and they're wearing certain sort of clothes and they're standing in front of a building that has certain characteristics. All right, that, that's the content of the picture. And the content is, is something we, we recognize all the pieces of. It's all familiar. From, from our experience of what the world looks like. You, all these things are recognizable. Um, and the, very, the, the, the content is a very strong part of this picture. And uh, uh, one could, could do a, a content analysis of the picture. If you did, you'd be talking about uh, these people as if they're people. And you're talking about the building as if it's a building and what you know about buildings and people and expressions on faces and eye lines and uh, what what clothing means and all those that's it's that's easy. I mean, you can you can imagine doing that. And if and if someone were to ask you to do a, a content analysis, you could probably write a bunch of stuff about about people and farms and uh, that sort of thing. But the form in the picture refers to all of those things that aren't the content. That is the uh, the the diagonal lines. The Oh, repetition of oval shapes, the, the color relationships, the linear relationships, the positional relationships, um, all those things that, that have to do with the, 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 the nuts and bolts of what the, the artist is using to communicate these things. Uh, it's, it's, it's paint on a, on a canvas, I assume. Maybe it's a, on a panel or something, but it's, uh, you know, it's just a, a bunch of colors, and those colors have certain forms to them, and they, they you know, resolve themselves into straight lines or curved lines or, or, or areas or textures or, you know, all those things that you have to do with forms. And if you're going to analyze the form in the picture, you look at what, what effect the form has. Now, this is kind of a complicated picture to do, do such a thing as, as that. But let's look, let's look at a, a picture like this. This is a, a, a painting by Pete Mondrian, from the, also from the 20th century. This is a picture that doesn't have any content at all. It has black lines and a white background and some rectangles of, of, of primary colors. Uh, it's all formed. There's no content at all. So if you're going to do an analysis of it, all you could do is an analysis of the, of the, of the forms. And if you were going to do such an analysis, you would say, well, the forms are made up of these, these things I just mentioned. But the line, the black lines are, are, are perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal. Uh, the, the colors are, are, are solid, undifferentiated colors. Uh, the, 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 the whites are, are, are white, and the blue is blue, and the red is red. And uh, there's a kind of a balance to it, the, uh, but it's an asymmetrical balance. So things are on one side, but not on the other side. But, you know, that's where you can think the, the relative weights of the different things are uh, are, are organized in some sort of way is to create sort of a peaceful, calm balance. And that's an analysis of the form, which you can easily do, even if, there, you know, if there's no content at all. If you were going to analyze this, you might take into account some aspects, the fact that these are people and there's a real building back there and 
something about you know what you associate with this this character or this character and what they're wearing and how they're standing and how they're you know looking out at you and what you associate this as, uh, this assembly of, of objects uh, in your mind and you those those would affect your analysis but it's the the point is what's the form doing because when you analyze a work of art it's really the forms that are doing uh, much of the, the heavy lifting of, of what's, what's the, the effect that the picture has on you. Let's look at this picture. Um, I want to do a sort of a formal analysis of this picture because uh, one, it's, 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 it's very obvious, but also because it's so different from the one that you're going to work on. And I don't want you to, you know, use the same sort of terms that I'm using for this on that because you would, it, it has completely different sets of forms. This is a picture by Picasso from the 20th century. It's uh, it's big. It's like 25 feet wide, and it's made up of shades of gray, black and white. It has uh, lots of figures in it, and the figures are drawn in sort of a cartoonish manner. Uh, but the thing that just is striking about it, the first thing that comes to your mind is that everything's broken. In fact, it's broken like like broken glass or a broken mirror. Imagine it's in shards. Um, going in all different directions. Everything, the, the, the background, the, the foreground, the, the, the animals and the people, everything is broken and made into pieces. Um, it looks like something awful is happening. Uh, there's a horse in the middle who's broken into lots of little pieces. He sort of still has a kind of a horse shape, but it's distorted in many, in many different ways. And it has a spear through it. There's this little thing here. It looks like a, a spear sticking out of it. It's represented in kind of a cartoon manner, but the cartoon manner means just that it's exaggerating uh, uh, everything so as to amplify uh, what, you, what you would feel if you were to see such a, such a horse in this position. Um, the, the mouth is open. In fact, all the mouths are open as if everybody's screaming. Uh, and a few of them, like the, the horse, the bull, and, the, uh, and this woman here, they have like little daggers sticking out of their mouths so where their tongue would be almost to, to, to amplify that scream or make it very piercing. Uh, notice there's a repetition of shapes, this sort of jaggedy shape everywhere. Um, there's a, the fire, there's like it's a house on fire. and uh, uh, The jagged bars around this, what it looks like electric light. Um, everything is pointy and, and has sharp edges, but it's all chaotically arranged. This obviously has an effect on you. It's, it's disturbing. It has an ugliness to it. It looks like some horrible tragedy is going on. And, and that's what it's a painting of. It's the, the tragedy was a, a bombing of a village in Spain and, uh, named Guernica. And these people have, you know, uh, kind of a primitive people who, who didn't know much about uh, planes at all. And, and the idea of bombs dropping from planes was, was completely outside of their, of their, you know, the, what they thought was possible. So having uh, bombs drop on them was you know, the last thing in the world they expected, and they just thought that the world was ending. So when news of this came to Picasso, and he wanted to say, oh, I'm going to make a painting of that, um, it came to him from, uh, through newspaper pictures, which are black and white. And his, his impression uh, his first impression of what happened in Guernica was from black and white pictures of, of bombed buildings. And he imagined what it would have been like to be there with these bombs and what these people would, would experience. And he made this picture using uh, a certain kind of form, formal expression to amplify and, 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 and really drive home the, the point of, of uh, the horror that these people experienced. And the, you know, the forms I would say are, you know, the, the sharp edges and, and broken uh, uh, pieces everywhere, the uh, stark contrast of dark and light, in you know, randomly distributed throughout the thing, um, just gives gives more, uh, more chaos to the scene, and the the, the expressions on faces, the, the 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 distortions of things like you know having a face. If you know if you're going to have a woman holding a baby and the baby's dead and she's crying about it, make it as exaggerated as possible. I mean, the the head is leaned back as far as it could go with his 
mouth very, very large, um, um, screaming as loud as possible. And the eyes are just sort of distorted and, and, and wide open, and uh, the hand making this, this, this futile gesture of what's going on uh, is just is, is over large. Um, other things, you know, the the this this woman, the way she's she's you know running into this the scene um, in a in a expression of bewilderment. His hands and arms are are, are out to um, are sticking out as if she's she's imploring, is what's going on? What what could possibly be happening? Uh, all these things are are adding together into a picture of 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 just you know the ultimate horror going on and it's the forms that are that are really exaggerating this and what I'm doing here is giving you an example of something where the forms are really really doing something it's having effect so if you were doing a formal analysis of this you want to tie those forms to the effect all the time so every time you say well I, I, I get this effect of, of, of chaos for example well that's because of this this and this um, that means the you know the broken pieces scattered around and randomly distributed lights and darks. All those forms are giving the impression of chaos. The jaggedness of edges, you know, you know, jagged lines like this have an effect on, on people because it looks like like broken glass. It looks like you know energy radiating in some sort of evil manner. You know, uh, fire represented here, destruction. All all these things are. Are uh, uh, you know, what you feel when you see jagged edges like this. So you know this is a very stark representation of forms affecting you. And analyzing those forms means um, tying. You know, whenever you say say an effect, say what's causing that effect. Uh, you can do it either way. You can e either order. You can talk about the the effect first and say what's causing it, or you can say uh, the uh, the cause first and say what effect that has. Either way, your 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 charge here when you're doing your formal analysis is to look at the picture. Let's go back um, to the picture and say, well what effect does this one have? Um, I mean just think, you know, if if you had to do this one, as I said, you know, this one's calm, this is this is this is balance, order, that sort of thing. Um, you know, this one's doing other things. I mean, this, we, when we get to the 20th century, we'll, we'll talk about this picture and analyze it then. Your charge here is to, is to look at this one and see, well, what, what effect is it having and what forms are giving that effect? So uh, if you have any other questions about it, then uh, give me an email.